This is no one's turn, but Anke, Anke, Anke. Ciao a tutti e benvenuti al Facile Come Italiano. Hello everybody, welcome to Easy as Italian. And yeah, today we want to talk about Anke. First, for the meaning, as an example, we can have Ah, ho tanto fame, vorrei una torta deliziosa. Mmm, anch'io. Me too. Hmm, that's a good start. But we have another one, right? <laughs> Vorresti anche una torta? You also would like it. Nice, but do we have another one? Maybe. I don't know. Anche un uomo di 60 anni vorrebbe qualcosa deliziosa. So wait a second, you are telling me that anche can mean three things, two, also and even at the same time. Well, that's logical, because I mean it's Italian. So if I say like anch'io, anche tu, anche lui, anche lei, anche noi, anche voi, anche loro, me too, you too, him too, her too, us too, you too, them too. But if I say it in this way of vorrei anche, vorresti anche, vorrebbe anche, then I also would like. You also would like, him or her would also like this. But at the beginning, like that, we can have even? How? Anche un ragazzo. Even a boy. Anche Neil Armstrong. Even Neil Armstrong can be there. Anche io ho un sogno. Even I have a dream. Well, the thing is, they say that the best way of learning a language, like a native, is to learn it through context and learning it by the first language, by the target language, uh, not hearing the theoretical explanation. So if you want to follow that, Subscribe the channel, like the video, close everything, that's it. If you want the theoretical explanation, I'm here as always, so just keep watching. Now coming down to the theoretical explanation, we can say that anche can have two places, before the subject and before the object. If you put it before the object, it can be translated as also, like io vorrei anche una torta. Una torta, what's that? That's an object, right? So, anche una torta, also a cake. I want, I would like also a cake. I would also like a cake. Okay? Or, let's change that a little bit. Lui vorrebbe anche un biscotto. He would also like a biscuit. Okay? Now, before the subject, the situations change a little. You need to be very, very careful about the context we are putting for that. Let's say, we say, anch'io vorrei una torta. Okay? Can be translated as, me too want a cake. All right? Also, you can say, even I would like a cake. So in these situations, mostly to say two, Italians don't say whole the sentence, just that part of the anche and the pronoun. So anch'io, me too. Anche lui, also him, or him too, better to say. Or anche loro, them too. Sometimes, you may even put the pronoun at the end of the sentence, so anche in the meaning of 
too would not be confused with even. Like, I want to say the whole sentence, but I don't want my anche to be confused with the meaning of even. So instead of saying anche io or anch'io vorrei una torta, I say vorrei una torta anch'io. I would like a cake, me too, literally. Okay? And when we put it at the first, more than 95% of the time we mean even. So, anch'io vorrei una torta. Even I would like a cake. Alright? So, when you see it before the subject, at the beginning of a complete sentence, you can have it as even more than 95% of the time. If you have it before the subject with no complete sentence, two, if you have it before the subject but the subject is at the end of the sentence, vorrei una torta anch'io, then you have it again as two, 90, more than 95% of the time. That's the case, all right? Now, you watched all the theoretical explanation too, so you des I deserve a subscription and a like. Help yourself with that. I'll see you in the next session. Remember your practices. Ciao.